All right. Today we are joined by Jalisa Danhoff. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, Jalisa? Sure. I am originally from Florida, but I live now here in Michigan with my husband and our young son, Calvin, who just turned two. And I am the director of an all-girls overnight camp called Camp Nuevo, right on the shores of Lake Pickerel. This is our 95th summer. I always knew I wanted to be a camp director, was lucky enough to get a degree in camp administration from Florida State University, and got my dream job after graduating and traded the sandy beaches of Florida for the snowy snow of Michigan, and I've never looked back. It's beautiful living up here. Awesome. So what was the first year that you attended Buckeye? I came to Buckeye in 2008. I was brought there by Neva Baltzel, who was uh, the executive director of the summer camp that I had grown up at. And she had attended the year prior, was unable to go in 2008. And she said, hey, we will pay your way there. And I, as a poor college student, was like, free flight to Ohio. Like, yes, let's go. I was so excited. It was the first time I'd ever been to Ohio. It was my first professional type conference in the field of recreation. And I was the only person there from Florida. I flew in and got picked up from the airport from someone connected with the conference, our, our good friend, Dave. I did not know much what to expect other than you're going to go to this place, bring some stuff back to summer camp that you've learned to share with the greater staff and, uh, and, and fill me in when you get back. Like that was basically my only direction and it's been a huge part of my life ever since. So I've attended every year since 2008. I have since upwards trajectory in the world of camping. I'm no longer a poor college student. Now I'm a poor camp director. And so I'm able to bring my staff uh, my year-round staff and seasonal counseling staff, my husband has attended, and he never having experienced uh, summer camp as a kid or summer camp as a counselor, for him, this is like going away to a camp, even though it's a conference for adults, it feels like a summer camp for him. And he's loved it so much that he has since joined the planning committee, and now he is on the planning committee, and I am off this year. So I've served for a number of years on the planning committee, and it's just been a huge part of my life. I recommend it to every single person I meet in the recreational field. And I'm fortunate enough in my position to have a lot of professional development opportunities. So I'm given the opportunity to go to the American Camp Association National Conference and regional conferences and lots of virtual events. And every time I meet someone and they're like, hey, what should I do for professional development? I say, go to Buckeye Leadership Workshop, that I've gotten more useful tips, tricks, techniques, long-standing relationships, concepts, life-changing advice from that experience than any other professional development that I've experienced. And Buckeye is far more affordable and far more fun than anything else that I get to do professional development for my job, which to be fair is pretty fun because the job isn't camping. So to say it's like the most fun of the fun things means that it's like ridiculously fun. Um, and if I had to describe Buckeye in one word, I don't know, transformative, refreshing, worth it, D do it, don't be, a, don't be an idiot, go to Buckeye. Like I can't, I really can't say enough great things about it. So I think you covered a lot of it in there, but do you have any specific advice for people that might be on the fence about attending in the future? I would say sometimes people are hesitant because it's a communal housing situation. So Buckeye is not an experience where you're going to stay in a hotel room. Um, you're not going to be going out to restaurants for meals or have a chance to like unplug after all the learning. It's definitely immersive. And so I would say if you're someone that's hesitant because that's a pretty big social commitment, like you're be prepared to like turn on and not really get a chance to turn off for five days, I would say just open yourself up to that opportunity. And if this world of COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's that we need in-person connection. And without that, we just go slowly insane one minute on Zoom at a time. And so I think we know we need that for ourselves. And sometimes as adults, we don't take that self-care and our 
our friendships, our social lives resolve, resolve around our kids or our work. And it's hard to make like new friends as an adult. And so though this experience is, is intense, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like, it's not just a, a relaxing, rejuvenating experience though it is, it's very like socially intense. I would say it's worth it even beyond the non-traditional format, because once you allow yourself to not be stressed about having a hotel room with a door, you know, and like sharing a, a living space with lots of other people, it, it becomes a great experience. So at that experience, is there someone that you met at BLW that made a lasting impact on your life? I don't know if I've met anyone at BLW that hasn't made a lasting impact on my life. Um, when I look at my friends and my connections from people I've met at Buckeye, everybody there is, is just incredible. They all come from such different walks of life. So I come from the camping field, but there are people that come to Buckeye that their jobs are engineers and teachers and doctors. You know, it doesn't have to be someone in the recreational field. It can just be people that enjoy getting together and doing fun, wacky things. So sometimes what I've learned from the people at Buckeye are people outside of my profession and and I've made really lasting friendships. These are people that came to my wedding. These are people who I've attended their funerals. You know, you become a part of each other's lives. I remember my first year, I was kind of starstruck because I met Barry Jolliffe. And he was the author of one of my textbooks in college. And so to like meet this person for real, who I had like read his theory on games and groups dynamics, and then to see him like leading square dancing. And I'm like, you're a person and I can ask you questions and you're going to teach me things. And the fact that everyone there, though they're such experts in what they do, it becomes this environment of sharing. And it's far less intimidating to go up to someone who's written your college textbook and say, hey, can you teach me about this? And instantly they'll stop what they're doing and, and do it. So the relationships that I've made from Buckeye are people that I call. My camp is uh, embarking on creating a new songbook for our 95th summer. And the first two people I called were Larry Hall and Bill Henderson because they are the songbook masters. And so I called to say, hey, how do I get light, like rights and licensing and how much is this going to cost me and who should I print it? And they were so willing to share advice. And that's the kind of stuff that you just can't Google. Like, you know, the, the lessons that you learned or the questions that you have, sometimes there's not an easy internet answer for that. And you legitimately have to speak to a person who can help you. And, and these are all people who are willing to help you. So I've, I've made incredible friendships, relationships, professional relationships that I'll treasure the rest of my life through Buckeye. All right. Do you have any closing comments? I would just say that it's, it's such a great experience that we miss not being able to attend the workshop last year because of COVID. And because it's such a close-knit community, it just did not seem possible to overcome those challenges. So I think when we're able to safely gather together again, we're going to need it more than ever. So I'm looking forward to reconnecting with everyone, seeing new faces at the experience. I've done my best to bring people to Buckeye from across the United States. And everyone who's experienced the workshop has said, very similar to my experience of like, this was one of the greatest things I've ever done. And so just the positive responses from brand new people coming into the workshop at all ages, all walks of life, all professions. Um, I, I would say that take the chance, come to Buckeye. I can't wait to be back there again. Um, and I'm so lucky and thrilled that I kind of discovered this hidden gem that's become such a big part and shaped me professionally and personally. All right. Well, thank you, Jaleesa. Cool. Thanks, Tad. I can't wait to see you again and play some virtual board games or real ones. <laughs>